Hey guys, Adam Retro Moments here, back with another game hunting video in a rainy Japan, Nagoya. It's time to check out yet another hard up store. So the absolute first thing we can see here is a golden Game Boy Light. That's pretty awesome. They were only released in Japan and this is the first time I'm seeing one actually. Four dollars! That sounds way too cheap actually. But there's also a little note on it which says that it can randomly turn off during gameplay. That sounds to me like it's some kind of dirt inside or maybe some loose connection. If you guys have any idea, please comment down below. Anyway, moving on here, we got the Panasonic Q controller there. No console inside, but the controller, that's pretty cool. And here we got a Master System and also the first Sega console there. The SG-1000 going for uh, 250 bucks. A lot of money, but it's pretty cool to see the first Sega console ever made. And here we got Super Famicom games. Caught on 100%, 9,800 yen, so about $95. And behind here we got some cool Neo Geo AES games. A little too expensive, I think. And now here is a boxed console, 33,000 yen. All right price, that's what it's going for, complete in box. Some other stuff here, and here you can play some Mario All-Stars on the Super Famicom. But let's dig into the controllers here. We got $1 NES controller. Seems pretty alright, actually. No idea what this is. Fake. And here we got a boxed PlayStation controller. It's not often you see those, actually. It's pretty cool. PSPs. Going for cheap money and also DS here. Yeah, that's about it. A lot of DS or DSI, I guess it's called exactly. Some more controllers there, and here we got some Super Famicom games. This is uh, an interesting one Super Wagayan Land 2. If you're into cute uh, platformers, colorful platformers, then check this one out. I think it's pretty average. Zelda boxed for N64. Condition looks really good actually. Going for 9 bucks. That's a huge difference from the European and US versions. Mario Kart, also really cheap. I probably said this before but N64 games are so cheap here. Here's some Super Famicom games. This is actually a really cool one. It's the follow-up to the Magical Quest Mickey Mouse. This is called uh, The Great Mystery Circus. And uh, this one actually has co-op. So uh, you can enjoy the adventure with some, some friend by your side. Alright, let's see if there's something more interesting here. I guess not. And here's the... The controller edition Mario Kart 64 boxed. It's not often you see this one. Going for $23. That's a good price actually. I don't think it's too expensive usually either. And here we got something interesting. There was this uh, subway train game that was released only in Japan. So Taito made an actual controller for that. That's pretty cool. Alright, some more Super Famicom games up here. We got a complete Werlo. Really good platform game, going for $10. And here we got a good one Super Adventure Island. If you haven't played this, you surely need to play it right now. Well, right, not right now, actually, after this video. Yeah, it's a great platforming game, and it's actually really short, so. Uh, if you just want to beat a game fast in the evening, go for that one. Alright, let's move on here. Just gonna put that back. So here we got some mixed up PC Engine. And here we got some Neo Geo AS, some more games. Let's see this one, I don't see that often. It's the first Fail of Fury game. Not the best one, but uh, this is where it all started. So uh, it's it's that could be cool to have. 4,000 yen. Not bad price actually. 
complete Super Mario Land for the Game Boy. Nice condition. Nine bucks. Yeah, why not? And on the other side, we find some Wii U and uh, 3DS games. 3DS is still really relevant. In, uh, and here we got some consoles. N64 console, the Ice Blue there. Going for $30. Yeah, Game Boy games, some Famicom games here. We got the first mother, some N64 games, cartridges only, always cheap. And here we got a good one, it's uh, Area 88 or uh, you might know it as UN Squadron. Really good shooter game. A bit more slow paced, but uh, it's really fun actually. And over here we got some controllers. Well, let's keep going forward here. We got PS3 stuff here. Time Crisis 4. Can't talk enough good stuff about that. It's a super fun light gun game. Works on newer TVs the sensors like I mentioned in earlier videos and here we got some uh, more accessories 360 games Dead or Alive 4 it's a really good one Dead or Alive 5 there too by the way there was some more consoles back here that I should film we got a Saturn here $35 loose and beside it there's another N64 hanging out and then we also got a Neo Geo AES controller stick those are really awesome but yeah, that's about it. Let's head to the junk section and see if we can find something interesting. So as you can hear, the music have changed in the store. And that's because they're about to close soon. So uh, that's how they make it a sign to the customers. All right, let's dig in here quick. Marshall B2. We got some Wii consoles here. PlayStation and SNES consoles, Super Famicom. A bit yellowed. <laughs> Some random stuff here. Let's see, here we got some games at least. So yeah, it's it's about the same games that are usually here actually. I mean, sometimes you're lucky. Sometimes there are actually good games here. I don't think there was anything special here. Multitap. For the PS2, three bucks. Yeah, let's keep looking here. We got some Wii games here. We got Smash Bros. Ultimate, three dollars. Mario Galaxy 2, three dollars. Mario Kart Wii, five dollars. And whoa, one dollar for the Zelda Skyward Sword. And here's the next Smash game for the Wii U, eight dollars. Dragon Ball game for one dollar. Wii Sports Resort, Mario Bros. Wii, yeah, that's some good prices right there. Yeah, let's see if there's something else here. We got a Sonic Adventure laying around here for a dollar. It's pretty cool, super great game if you have a Dreamcast, you just need to have that of course. Boxed Wii for $20, we got some fake stuff. Yeah, more of the fake consoles, nothing really interesting, Beat Mania. But alright, I guess it's time to leave now, I feel like they want to close the store, I'm the last person in here, so uh, let's head off to Book Off. Alright guys, I'm outside the Book Off now, so uh, let's go in and have a quick look. The great thing about the Book Offs is that they're usually open until 11, 12 in the night, so uh, that's pretty awesome. So let's start looking at the games on display here. Got some Super Famicom games. It's a lot of them. I guess there's nothing super amazing here, but it's quality titles, you know. We got Soul Blader there, $16. It's called Soul Blazer in the West. We got Castlevania for the Game Boy box behind there. It's pretty cool. Dragon Quest. Yeah, Mario All-Star, Mario Kart, of course. And in the corner there we got Hammer and Harry. Game that was never released on the SNES in the West. But we got the first one for uh, for NES. Yeah. And here we got some cartridges. 
and 64 stuff boxed. So let's go and check out the corner for the games here. So uh, here it is. Let's start with some uh, Super Famicom games, shall we? That's uh, usually what I'm looking for the first. Fire Emblem. Super good game. Very cool artwork on that, actually. Let's see, that looks pretty cool too. Another RPG, JRPG. Kinda hard to play them if you don't know the language though. Government 2. I keep finding that quite often actually. It's a really good platform game. And you can get around playing it without knowing Japanese, so. N64 stuff. Yoshi Story for five bucks complete you see that's that's how cheap it is here actually collect Japanese N64 games and your wallet will still be really happy all right some uh, cartridges here let's see prices are cheap Dragon Ball the first game not the best Dragon Ball game though here we got a Mario World for a dollar a little rough around the edges but still why not one dollar for one of the best Mario games ever here we got the Dragon Quest, SimCity yeah it's the usual titles that are laying in those bins let's check out some uh, PlayStation 1 games let's see uh, what could this be? Oh, there was a kart racer for Mega Man. Had no idea about that actually. I'll put in some gameplay for you guys. But I guess it won't be that good since I feel like I would have heard about it actually if it was worth playing. So yeah, now I'm gonna pass on that. Yeah, let's keep looking here. Some of the earlier games that was released on PlayStation 1 in Japan actually had uh, no Japanese signs on the edge of the label. So there's a few good games that I'm looking for, like Rapid Reload, for example. But let's go over here. Some Game Boy Advance stuff. Nothing that I'm too into, actually. Yeah, let's check out some GameCube games up there. Let's see if there's any good titles. Lord of the Rings. Never played that one actually. Mario Party. Four dollar. Why not? Here we got Smash DX. Or uh, you might know it as Smash Bros. Melee. Sixteen dollars. Super good price, it's way more expensive in Europe and US. And you don't really need to know any Japanese language for that. Uh, we got some more stuff here. Yeah, I guess that's about it. Let's go for a quick peek on the DS stuff here. I actually don't have a Nintendo DS. I sold mine years ago. There just wasn't enough good titles on it. There was a few games that I wanted to play and, and that's that was it. Alright guys, that's it for this time. Please comment if you want longer or shorter videos or if there's any particular games or systems you want me to look for. And I'll see you on the next hunt.